I go on to say that, um, you know, these other groups, they perhaps uh, sometimes conclude that the Holy Spirit is merely a manifestation of the one true God. And so it's, it's, it's not, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not entirely too harsh on some of these groups for the perspective that they walk away with when they say, but it says here in the quote, right off an Old Testament passage, they, re, they, they describe a passage where they read a verse where it's clear to me that the passage is talking about God the Spirit, right? Um, so there are passages where that, I believe, is the way we're supposed to understand because God is a spirit. This is true. I believe this with, with a perfect faith, meaning it's a conviction of mine that God is a spirit. God is not a man, and God is not a dove, uh, or a donkey, or any other animal, or anything like, like that, right? So, God is a spirit. He's pure spirit. He dwells in unapproachable light, we read in the New Testament. And so, he, he is... He should be represented as spirit in passages where we're just dealing with God the Father, right? The Father God, the God of the Old Testament, Yahweh, or whatever you want to term or name you want to give him. But that's not the only representation we have, is the point I try to make and the challenge I bring it, try to bring up when I'm having dialogues with Unitarians like I do so frequently on my YouTube channel. In fact, I kind of take a survey and look at all the comments that I'm fielding week after week uh, through the over 500 plus videos that I have on my YouTube channel now. And over and over again, the comments that I have to deal with are comments that have to deal with Trinity, right? So, um, <laughs> uh, I field questions on certain passages, and when they're Old Testament passages, I just kind of brace myself for, oh, here we go. They're going to be saying how the God is the Spirit, and the Spirit is God, and blah, blah, blah. So I get that. I get that. So I'm not too harsh on them. But when we're talking about God as a Spirit, I mean, I say in my I say as a question in my own commentary here, uh, kind of quippingly, jokingly, would this place the Spirit into the category of an Old Testament theophany, right? If we're talking about the Spirit as a manifestation of the one true God, we talk about um, the angel of the Lord and the Old Testament references where we see um, uh, Yeshua in his pre-incarnate form showing up in front of a man, and we realize that this is kind of a theophany or a Christophany, right? A manifestation of Yeshua before he came to earth in the body of Jesus, right, before he was born through the womb of Mary, right, the angel of the Lord, or the um, uh, the captain of the Lord's host that stood in front of um, Joshua with the sword drawn and things like that. Is this a, and we recognize that as either a theophany or a Christophany, right, a manifestation of God in the person in the form of, a, of an angel or the angel of the Lord or the captain of heaven's armies or something like that. But when the Holy Spirit shows up um, as a, as a as a, a form, you know, since the Spirit is the Spirit himself, is that a theophany? Is it a Christophany? Is it, is it a pneumatology? Is it a num, num, pneumophany? <laughs> right, I'm making it worse. All right, so let's keep looking through my commentary here. Um, keep going. I'm going to read another paragraph here in this study. I say, as we're beginning to ascertain non-Messianic Judaism, Unitarian Christianity and Orthodox Trinitarian Christianity, they all have their sometimes opposing views on this enigmatic topic, right? Sometimes opposing. There's things that we can agree on. All three of those groups will believe in one God, right? All three of those groups believe in the, the reliability uh, of the scriptures, uh, at least the parts that they hold to be true. Like, like Judaism believes that the Old Testament is reliable, Right? So do Trinitarian Christians. So do Unitarian Christians. And we all believe in the um, monotheistic aspect of the fact that there's one God, not multiple gods. We all believe the fact that he's the only God that should be worshipped, etc., etc. So, so there are things that we, that we can agree on, but we have our sometimes opposing views.